lights and cameras and mirrors. Oh, hello, it's your boy, Autor Deluxe. Today is the day we're finally gonna talk about Cretia. This is one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites. I know I say Midnight Cowboy is my favorite favorite. It's kind of like a 1A and 1B with this film, Cretia. Uh, it's a very emotional film, it's a very impactful film, it's a very powerful film. Uh, I just love it, it's one of my favorites. And I think now is a perfect time to watch it because it is a Thanksgiving film and I will campaign for this movie forever. For about the past four or five years, I have recommended it incessantly to everybody. And it's a great film about addiction, it's a great film about family, being the black sheep of your family. And uh, I just think Trey Richards, for his debut, captures that very well. And as an alcoholic, uh, I have seen it two or three times when I was actively drinking and a complete piece of shit. And I've seen it now sober two or three times that I'm not drinking, but still a piece of shit. And it just captures that dynamic so well. And it's funny because when you see it when you're drinking, you sit there and you think, oh my God, look at what Cretia's family is putting her through. But then now that I'm sober, I watch this film and I go, oh my God, look at what Cretia is putting her family through. And it's nice to see that. And just the fact that a very young filmmaker had the wherewithal to make something like this that young as a debut with his family members and non-actors shot in his mom's house for no money i think there's a kickstarter and they filmed the fucking thing in nine days uh yeah my hat's off to you so i'm always going to recommend this movie let's get into it this is your spoiler alert if you haven't seen it before it is on hoopla and uh canopy right now all you got to do, pop in your library card information and you can watch movies on those streaming services. I recommend it highly. Cretia follows the titular character, Cretia, as she goes home for Thanksgiving. She is kind of trying to get her shit together, but she's estranged from her family, especially her son. She has some sisters she's catching up with, a brother-in-law who you can't really tell if he's just kind of a smartass or he's like truly a vicious person played by Bill Wise. Oh, and dogs. There are lots and lots of dogs. And the movie is from Cretia's point of view. And in her mind, she's on the right path, you know, kind of has some stumbles in the past, hit a snag here and there, but she's doing the right thing now. And it, we see it from that point of view. However, it becomes evident immediately when she starts interacting with her family that, that she's as big of a mess as she's ever been. She relapses, she's sneaking, drinking. Uh, she fucks up everything, fucks up the turkey, has two enormous outbursts. And on a first viewing of this movie, there is a lot of unease. There's a lot of tension. You don't really know what Cretia is capable of. It starts with this big shot zoomed in on her face and uh, almost like a horror score. So you really don't know what she's capable of. And when you see how the family is kind of on bated breath, walking on eggshells around her at the very beginning, you really don't know like what her kind of tattered past is really all about. And Trevor Schultz is a very good master manipulator with emotion, especially in this movie and also in Waves, his 2019 movie. There are scenes in this movie that are absolutely heartbreaking. There's the scene uh, with, with Bill Wise's character on the back porch where they're just kind of clashing separate personalities and Cretia's trying to project that she, you know, I've had some trouble in the past, but you know, it's all copacetic now. And then he's kind of uh, well wound tight and very upset and, you know, kind of lashing out viciously and uh, snarkily. And th those two things kind of clash. But also another heartbreaking scene is with the mother she, who doesn't recognize Cretia. And it's doubly heartbreaking when you see just the way that shot is composed and you see the mother and Cretia and you see Trey in the background. And to know that they're really actually family members, but also the director as an actor who's playing the son of Cretia and they're estranged and seeing that her and her mother are estranged it's very powerful very impactful also just in general when she gets caught drinking and she fucks up the turkey very emotional scenes this movie is an emotional powerhouse and in my mind schultz gets everything right about uh familial relationships when you are actively an addict and going through that whole thing and uh to Cretia, she really sees herself as the pariah 
and uh, when the family member is trying to help, but they're ill-equipped. How do you help someone that doesn't want to help themselves? In Kreisha's mind, you know, she's trying to get it together, and it's not really working, but to the other members of the family, especially her son, they could have been hearing these empty promises for decades. And as an alcoholic, you make all kinds of empty promises, and you set all kinds of arbitrary boundaries, and you sit there and say, well, I'm only drinking beer today. Or, you know, well, I started at noon, I didn't start at 10, so I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Or, uh, you know, I'm not doing hard drugs, so I'm doing pretty good. It's all subjective, and it's all bullshit. Schultz captures that dynamic perfectly with the pep talk between Kreisha and her sister. Kreisha is sitting there wondering how her family can put her through this, but in actuality, look at what Kreisha is putting her family through. And that is the kernel of this movie. That is what makes it so good, in my opinion. That is a very specific dynamic, and Schultz gets it down pat perfectly from all angles. And he does it with flair. He does it very, uh, he shoots it interestingly, and he does it with a lot of stylish flair. And there's there's a shot, for instance, at the, near the beginning of the film when Kreisha is preparing the turkey, cooking the turkey, and it's this big single take and uh, the score is this like percolating scent that kind of ups the anxiety and ups the tension. She's sitting there trying to keep it together. She hasn't uh, relapsed yet, so she's sober, she's stressed, trying to cook the turkey, trying to prepare the turkey. There's family members to the left of her, to the right of her, having conversations, fumbling with the Tupperware, trying to do laundry. To the right of her, there's the uh, family members, the cousins watching the football game, screaming at the football game. Bill Wise's character is yelling at them. So anyway, it's this very big stressful scene. And Schultz shoots it in that way. There's a lot of reverence for this character and for this story. In her life, in this day, in this moment, this is as big of, as a bank heist in another movie. This is a very important, impactful moment for her future. Also, Schultz is not afraid of long takes. He's not afraid of quick cuts. And he's not afraid to put the camera fucking anywhere. There, when the, he shoots dogs, he shoots them very low. He's not afraid to swirl the camera around to show confusion or disorientation. He is very close in when she's relapsing and drinking in the bathroom in the mirror. He's not afraid to do things stylistically that uh, in a debut a lot of filmmakers would kind of shy away from. Even that that uh, exchange with the Bill Wise character in a normal movie, it would just be a two-shot, shot like an interview on a news show. But for him, it's this kind of the roving camera and it's kind of moving back and forth and it's very, very impactful and it kind of ups the unease and uh, kind of amplifies everything. Also that shot at the beginning when Kreisha is just kind of meandering, like kind of turning back two or three times to even go into the house to even get there to get started. And she it, it is kind of non-committal and it shows her absent-mindedness and her uh, just, you know, she's not ready for this. So to recap, what makes this film so unique and so impactful is just the characters and the level of empathy that they have and his unique way of showing that and unique way of shooting that. So in conclusion, to recap here, what makes this movie so good is its uniqueness, not only in the characters and the level of empathy, but also in the stylistic choices that Schultz makes for his debut film. This is a fairly straightforward movie about one day in one woman's life, but it is shot with so much style, emotion, so much ambition, and he uses emotion in a way that I've seen very few directors do well and even less do that intensely and just as an addict it's uh i kind of commend him for making a movie where the person doesn't get better you don't see that very often it, it's kind of weirdly comforting to see you know what sometimes be, people don't get better this movie has made me a fan for life and i can't wait to see everything else trey Schultz does for the rest of his career it makes me so happy that he is a young man even younger than me and he has a whole fucking career ahead of him to make hundreds of moves. So, that being said, follow me on Letterboxd, at Autor Deluxe. Also follow me on Facebook, at Autor Deluxe, as well as TikTok. The TikTok has kind of taken a turn. It kind of turned into, like, a Howard Stern fan page somehow. But, uh, yeah, follow me there, Twitter, everything, and have a good Thanksgiving. Also, one last thing, as a bit of housekeeping, uh, first of all, thank you, Howie Mandel, for being such an enormous fan. What's your favorite, uh, film channel? Um, Howie? Autour Deluxe. Auteur Deluxe. Me too. Me too. Uh, but also, Indicator, uh, Powerhouse Indicator, they do these great hammer box sets, they do these great uh, William Castle box sets, and they kind of prop up some old Hollywood and some weird lost classics. Anyway, they did a box set of Norman J. Warren's films, and they actually sent me a second disc for Inseminoid, 
Uh, I won't say how, if I did like this movie or not. But anyway, it's a beautiful print, and it's really nice. Uh, they thought, for whatever reason, there might be an error on the disc they sent me, so they sent me a backup disc. Turns out both of them work fine. So if you hit me up on the Instagram at Autosport Deluxe, I will send you this. Uh, it's going to be as is in this weird little screener case. So if you want that, you can have it. Just my little thank you for watching and uh, engaging the film channel. So that's about it. Stay hydrated and have a good day. Thank you. Autour Deluxe. Auteur Deluxe.